Dr. Lacey joining us uh, each and every Thursday from GoForTheTwo.com. you got to join him there and also follow him on Twitter. Let's keep it right there with Baylor because I thought that the hiring of Matt Rule was a complete coup for them. That that was a much better hire than I expected with their circumstances and what appeared to be just very difficult challenges up ahead. I know that they're not completely out of the weeds but that program has survived. I, I didn't think based on the chaos and some of the allegations and the convicted allegations that have gone on there, I, I in no way thought that they would get off this easily. And now it looks like they've got some hope light at the end of the tunnel. And they've got one of the game's very strong coaches in place. Yeah, they do. I mean, I think Matt Rule is a solid hire. I, the one question that you're going to want to see, obviously, is, can he instill his type of philosophy on the offense and defense lines in the conference within the state of Texas and recruit those type of players? I think when you look at Matt Rule's success at Temple, leading that team uh, to a 10-3 and record where they won the AAC championship uh, over Navy, they finished 10-4 and after their bowl loss against Wake Forest, but he was not there as head coach. Um, they predicated that team in terms of a physicality and a mentality that he built with really two and three star recruits. I mean, Temple did not get four and five star recruits like teams in in the Big Ten, like Ohio State, Michigan, or even uh, you know Penn State for that matter. But that's the type of landscape that he was recruiting, even though he was in the AAC. And you look at his success there. I mean, back-to-back 10-win seasons. And on top of it, he led Temple to their first victory over Penn State in 41 years, since 1941. I mean, you think about that. I mean, that's incredible in terms of his success. Um, Again, I think he's got a foundation there at Baylor. He's got some key players. He's got a quarterback, Zach Smith, that really came on in the system last year, a big freshman quarterback who's now a sophomore. He does get... Arizona transfer quarterback, a new Solomon that comes over. So what type of quarterback will he utilize? I think he's got to go with uh, Zach Smith, a, 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 a passer that could stretch teams vertically. And he's got a solid running back in Terrence Williams. But the success of Baylor, Mark, is going to come down to the physicality on the offense and defense lines. I think from a schedule perspective, this team is 7-5 and because I think they really uh, – they, they have some key games at home. I think that will benefit them. But down the road, I think this team could possibly be a contender again, but it all comes down to the physicality and his ability to recruit the state of Texas. Yeah, so Zach Smith coming off a 13-touchdown, seven-pick season with a 59% uh, passing with Seth Russell moving on and, of course, Jared Stidham. Um, the starting quarterback at Auburn, uh, they they have playmakers on the outside. I, I think their running back situation is a bit underrated. They uh, have Terrence Williams and company. Their running back, uh, you mentioned uh, a projected seven and five. We saw Baylor rip off six consecutive wins against basically nobody, and then they dropped six straight to close out. And then we saw a completely different team show up against uh, Boise State uh, in the bowl game that looked mighty impressive. Uh, so the Baylor Bears, uh, you like it uh, seven and five. 